On a daily basis, the largest tech companies like Google, Microsoft, and Meta are taking your data and online property and selling it to the highest bidder and making billions of dollars in the process. And the worst part is that as a creator or even just a user of these platforms, in most situations, you are not getting a cut of those profits. And if you are making money on these platforms, it is pennies on the dollar compared to what these tech companies are making. In this video, we're gonna cover why these Web2 tech platforms are broken and how you can take back control of your online data and get what you deserve. And if you are a content creator, make sure you stick around until the end of the video to figure out how you can better monetize your content through the power of Web3 and decentralized social. Just about everything we do online and the data we share is controlled by just a handful of tech companies like the ones I mentioned at the beginning of this video. These tech companies are collecting and monetizing your own digital property. On this version of the internet known as Web2, you don't control your digital identity. You don't control your content. You don't control the community or following you may have built. And you are forever tied to these platforms such as Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. And in turn, these tech companies are making a killing. In 2021, Google did over $250 billion in revenue, and most of that was through advertising. And they did this by collecting your personal information through their products like Google Chrome, YouTube, Gmail, and Google Maps, and selling this information to advertisers. Meta, AKA Facebook, did over $117 billion in revenue in 2021, and almost all of that was advertising as well. They track everything you do on Facebook and Instagram and sell that information to whoever is buying. And Microsoft's revenue was $168 billion in 2021. While only $10 billion of that was from advertising, that number is growing. They are taking information from LinkedIn, Xbox, Bing, and Edge to sell as well. So what is the common theme here? The social platforms you are using on a daily basis are taking your information and monetizing it whether you like it or not. Leave a comment down below and let me know what you think about these Web2 companies making so much money off the backs of its own users. Now up to this point in the video, things may seem a bit doom and gloom, but luckily there is a light at the end of the tunnel. And that light is Web3. In crypto, there is a popular saying, not your keys, not your coins. This means if you don't own the private seed phrase to your wallet, you are not actually in control of the cryptocurrency in that wallet. The same actually goes for the content we post online. Not your keys, not your content. I wish I could claim I came up with this on my own, but the truth is Nader al Naji has been saying this for months now and it continues to ring true today. Everything you post online forms your social graph. For example, every time you like a video on YouTube and subscribe to a channel that helps form your social graph. You can feel free to do it right now on this video to try it out yourself. And in Web2, these social platforms own your social graph. Think about it for a second. If YouTube was to suspend your account tomorrow, how would you access all the videos you liked, comments you made on the platform, or a list of channels that you subscribe to? And if you create videos on YouTube, how would you access all the videos you already uploaded and the subscriber base that you have built up? You wouldn't be able to. You would have to start all the way back at zero with a brand new account. I talk about this in more detail in this video right here if you want to learn more. But Web3 gives people property rights, the ability to finally own a piece of the internet. And this is thanks to the power of the blockchain. Your social graph and content can live on chain. This means every like, friend, or connection made is stored on a blockchain and secured in a transparent and decentralized manner. And a platform like Facebook or Twitter can't ban you overnight or deplatform you like what happens so often in Web2. And when we talk about Web3 and decentralized social media, we have to talk about DSO. DSO is a layer one blockchain built from the ground up to support decentralized social and onboard millions of users into Web3. There are multiple applications on DSO that allow you to post to earn crypto and cash out in fiat. Gone are the days where you have to build up thousands or even millions of fans in order to monetize your content. On an app like Diamond, the Web3 alternative to Twitter, Users earn diamonds every time they post to their feed. Imagine earning tips every time you tweet. That is exactly what happens on Diamond. As a creator myself, I've made more money on Diamond by posting for just a couple months than I have on YouTube where I've uploaded over 60 videos and have spent hundreds of hours creating content. And on DowDow, you can create a DAO with ease to accomplish any big goals you may have in mind. And the platform makes setting up a DAO as easy as setting up a social media account. You can also join a DAO to pursue big ideas and meet other like-minded people in a community. I show you how to join a DAO in under nine minutes in this video right here. And if you're looking to connect with other crypto professionals and expand your network, look no further than Entra, a Web3 competitor to LinkedIn. And I'm really just scratching the surface of what is available 
available on Web3 and on DSO. For a more in-depth look at all the best applications available on DSO to utilize the power of the blockchain, check out this Twitter thread from Ash. I'll leave a link down below in the description. If you only take one thing away from the video, remember this, not your keys, not your content. If you want to own your digital identity, online content, and social graph, then make the jump from Web2 to Web3 today. I promise you will not regret it. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below to stay up to date on all things Web3 and decentralized social.